Alright guys, here we are. I am just leaving my block. It is bright out already and it is time for the flea market. Let's do this. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. I am the eternal white rabbit. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Even when it's seven and I'm on time. Trees at the flea market. There's so many vinyls everywhere all the time at the flea market. If you're into vinyls, definitely come. Um, I'm looking for something that says, dad likes leather. Something that says, leather daddy? Oh, is there such a thing? Ah, uh, leather daddy's here. <laughs> That's a big mug. I need that to just be ostentatious as all hell. All of the cookware. Is today the day of huge mugs? What is this object? <laughs> That's cracked. Yes, very fallout. You can always get like a seamstress's bust if you need it. <laughs> Just a lot of stuff. This guy's got tons of Godzilla. Check it out. Yes. Awesome. All right, dude brought a small stack of magic cards for me to look at. Ooh, look at this stuff. All right, this is what he's showing me. Let's see what we got. What are we looking for for the whole thing, by the way? I have no idea. I, I trust your judgment. Because, I mean, I could buy it without looking and do it as like a because i mainly this is for a video yeah so last time i did like kind of like a mystery box i just bought it whatever yeah. they wanted so i honestly like I, you I'm want me to evaluate cards. it yeah okay. if you could and I, don't, I can evaluate I, a little yeah, bit no like, problem give me a few minutes yeah. all right so i'm gonna check this out and we'll come to a consensus no mystery pack today <laughs> okay so i got this for 15 bucks we will check it out later i brought a box to put it in um, are those like signed? The ad cards, of course, no magic. It's always no magic. The other guy came and gave me my coffee though. I forgot it, so that's awesome. Oh, that's some old stuff. Look at these lights, they're like plants. Old dude starts looking, he's like, I think I grabbed it. You're the guy that asked me, I might've, I don't know. And he's looking through his car, I'm like, uh, I'll come back in a little bit. Just, if you find it, don't pull it out yet. <laughs> oh boy, Pee Wee. There's Pee Wee. This is crack. Ah, oh, goosebump stuff. Next to Teletubbies. <laughs> Ooh, random bag of Pokemon cards. I should just buy it just because. Oh, what do I see there? I'm gonna go check out this comic spot. That dude wanted 40 bucks for the bag. He's like, I'm like, I only wanted magic cards and those aren't even great. He's like, how much would you give me? 20? I'm like, three. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. Ah, uh, see, there's always cards. Let me ask. Yes, someone is into some good TV. You're goddamn right. Look at these bad boys. Is that a giant piece of uranium glass? Got a lot of stuff today. Need a button? That's a little morbid. I've seen a lot of shoes and clothes today. There you go. Beer cooler. I'm seeing a theme in here. Like, for real. I like these weathered pillars. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. It really is. It's gorgeous. Out. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I said somebody called me and they're like, yo, I have magic cards for you in the middle of the week, but I'm like on my way to work. <laughs> Look at the cane with the sword. Oh yeah. It was really packed up in Brimfield. Uh, this guy always has some stuff here. Oh my god. What? Look at this. You spent 63? You got anything good? Whoa. This is like the oldest Bible I've ever seen. 
This guy has some crazy stuff always. Look at the fish. <laughs> there he is. He's the wizard. He always has some crazy curiosities here. He has some of the best displays I see in this place. It's awesome. See, I'm seeing these things everywhere. Always games. See, tons of shoes and clothes today. This belongs in like a Manson or Nine Inch Nails video. I'm going to get this and be all old timey and push my baby around in this like 18th century. <laughs> Bells. There's a lot of Hot Wheels and Batman. NBA Jam. Okay, so $80 for the lot. It looks like it's been gone through. Let's see what we got. In summary, mostly newer. Commons, I saw a couple of visions, so I inspected a bunch, but I don't think it's there. That dude always has cards, but it's always like a bunch of Commons and always way too overpriced. I mean, I look more as a courtesy at this point because he always points them out. Oh my God, look at that. All right, I gotta kick it into high gear. I have like 10 rows and 15 minutes before the 8 a.m. people get let in. Look what we got. This is the collection I saw in the van. I still want these three boxes. So I'm not gonna buy it. He wants 400, it's too much. There's a bunch of like foil lands and like uncommon and common foils, which is great and all, but they're not like perfect condition. And uh, this this is nice. Yeah. Let's try and get all, put a separate. This is like a sapphire okay, so medallion. Yeah, well, see, there you go. Nice thing, about 9.4. Yeah, these are cool. These are welcome decks that they give to new players, um, you know, to get them into the game. And these are older, which is awesome. You know, very cool Planeswalker themed decks. That's cracked out. <laughs> Pork and pigs, salt and pepper set. Another week without a retro living room. I wish I could play it. Somebody was playing the song from Never Ending Story. <laughs> and he had all this like retro audio equipment i am rushing because i have like a row or two left before the 8 a.m come in and they're coming in in like three minutes mm -hmm. so last time was an apple peeler what the hell is this cement plant <laughs> oh, that's a big bottle of wine so after some hard ass bargaining he came down, we got to 2.30, back and forth, back and forth. So I got something to show you guys. And he threw in this invasion deck on top. So we'll see, I don't know. It's, it's probably there, all right. So like, what's way more impressive than the toy is the fact that the box is still here. The original at 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 Freaking cool. I love Ralph. <laughs> My tongue tastes like burning. How about this? Don't talk to strangers, indeed. <laughs> I don't know why this just looks funny to me. But look at all the old audio tech. Real to real, baby. And then music instruments. This is great. This is like, I went out in the back. I found some logs. I made some stuff. <laughs> Insta hornet's nest at the house. <sighs> this dude is freaking... Here you go. It's not quite a vintage living room, but it's vintage fixtures. Especially that clock. Flea market kayak. Now that is a mask. I'm heading out to go rent a cart because my silly ass bought those pillars for my backyard. I think it will look great amongst the rocks. I love this guy's mushrooms. <laughs> they got everything in the car. Came back for some food. This is probably my last flea market for a good couple of months, so I'm just gonna enjoy walking around in the gorgeous day for a few minutes. All right, let's see what else we can find today. You know it's crazy when you're seeing graded comics at the flea market. There's so much oddball stuff here. This is like many homes' worth of items. Ah, Amira, let's see myself. 
Hello everyone. So like if you need tools, there's plenty at the flea market. Look, look. Let's see. There he is. Ah, I see it glowing away. You know what this is. I used to have an acrylic cube just like this. <laughs> need some uh, binoculars. It's blister guy. Because we have blisters with blister guy. <laughs> I don't think I showed this selection of VHS yet. So that's real. Puzzles. See what I mean? Not one, but two of them. These belong in a diner. <laughs> What's that? Okay, so these, how crazy are these ladies look? Look at corsets, how crazy was that back in the day? <laughs> and then you got these crazy puppets. Next to Batman and Miss Piggy and Kermit. Tons of vinyl. Some fossils. Bags and bags of ducks. And then we got these guys at the end. Well, I'm a porter and I dwell in this <laughs> second class hotel. If I stay here any longer, I'll go insane. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my latest flea market find. Let's see what I got. This was $15. This. Two hundred and freaking thirty dollars. You see the flea market stamp there. All right, let's put this aside for now. That is so much. Okay, so I got this for fifteen bucks, and I will show you why. I went through it. Let's go through these. And here, nasty, nasty, nasty. I always get rid of the plain sleeves and containers because they end up being gross from someone's deck. whoop de doo Yeah, I got a twiddle. Quicksand. There you go. Look at this. These cards right here went through the wash. This whole chunk. So this is all like garbage. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Garbage, so yes. So I don't think there's anything else major here. Battering ram, power sink. Okay, I'll go over it vertically. Cyclopium mummy, ward of lights. That might be a couple of bucks. Ashnod's battle gear. You know, lands. They sound like there's like a little bit like people were playing on the sidewalk with these. Healing salve, lore, weakness, pestilence. Um, none were unlimited, but, you know, whatever. Dark Rituals. This one, I think. No, Carapace. And real quick, we are going to do a, what's it called? A check with the black light. Nothing yet, so no alt fourth. Okay, put these down, go through them. Then you got these, you know, whatever, I'll take it. Iceberg, oh, erosion has been eroded. Lord. Mind bomb. Sangir bats. Let's do another alt fourth scan. Mm, it looks weird, but that's just where. All right. 
put that aside. And then in here, boom. You know how often I find these freaking bad boys? All right. And that was it, you know, respite. Yeah, so this was the $15 purchase with the Rhystic Study alone. It was worth it to me. Okay. Let me know what you think about that. And now we are going to move along to the main show here. Uh, these are just to look at later. Oh, the twiddles for Twiddler. Okay, let's go through this box first. See? Basic land foils, uncommon gold, common foils, uncommon lands. Okay, well, uncommon gold, guys. I'm probably going to end up fast forwarding through a lot of this because you got silliness like this and sleeves. <sighs> this is going to take a while. But let's see what we got. Oh, you know what? We need to take a shot of this box open. Because it looks so crazy. What I bought today. Pretty nice collection. And this. Isn't that sick? This is the entire collection from today. Yes. This is cool. There's tons of foil lands here. Like, a lot. Ravnica. Invasion. 7th edition. Odyssey. Onslaught. Invasion. 9th. 8th. Invasion. Kamigawa. 9th. 9th. Time Spiral. Time Spiral. Invasion. Onslaught, 8th, Mirrodin, uh, Mercadian Masks, 9th, uh, 7th, so yeah, this was a, a land hit, if anything, these are pretty decent, so that's nice, okay, let's go for this other sleeved chunk here yes more foils i believe so the guy wanted so much for this he wanted 400 for these two boxes and honestly the the cards are decent but the condition isn't there it's like i'm going to be showing prices on the screen when when i actually go through it at, after i separate it out and everything but like look some of them have been played. A lot of them have been played. They're curved, you know? So, yeah. We're not talking gradables here, but we are talking very cool and maybe some value here. Decent value. You know, like, I paid 230 for it. I expect that out of here. Uh, yeah, so... We got a decent amount of foils. And this is cool because... Uh, this is the type of foils that I like from Silver Age. You know? Yeah, Fifth Dawn even. Dark Steel. T uh, Torment. Yeah, Betrayers. Saviors. A lot of Kamigawa, which is interesting. Ravnica. I uh, love the older border ones. God damn, they're cool. Alright, and we got more sleeves to go through. So yeah, as you can see, pretty decent. The amount of uh, foils in here made it you know, it was worth it at 230 for me, but that was kind of a maximum cuz this is probably just going right into my collection, honestly. Reviving Vapas. Liberated Dwarf. I like that. Liberate that dwarf. <laughs> 
But yeah, this is all commons. You know what I mean? Janelle. Some of them are probably in decent condition. They look like they've been taken care of. And you got 7th edition. Ooh, Twiddle. I didn't expect to see that. 7th edition foil Twiddle. I'll put those aside. 7th edition foils, you know. Granite grip. I pass some over there. Especially lands. But yeah, cool to see. Good to see. Hey, even an Urza. Oh. Uh, freaking Italian. Prodigal Sorcerer. Sweet. Wow. That was better than I thought it was in there. <sighs> Wasteland. Whoa. Wow, gemstone mines. Two foreign, two regular. Oh, what? Cabal coffers. Damn, I didn't know that was in there. Yeah, here. Aura shards. Boom, boom, boom. So I knew that was a couple of bucks, so I pulled that out. Even more. That's crazy. Oh, Shiza. Look, Crystalline Sliver. That's a couple of beans. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're going to go over this box. And this box, well, it had the value that I knew was there. Okay, he gave me this. He's like, afterwards, he gave me this as a thank you. From the rest of the stuff, I don't think there's anything in here i mean it's cool and all oh, look at that freaking foreign cards all swamps swamps a freaking stack of swamps which is cool but and oh oh look at that i'll take that swamp <laughs> Personal tutor. That was one of them. Enlightened tutor. So I saw that as well. Off for condition. This is one of the ones I saw. One of the big ones. So yeah, that was what made me want it. Oh, reanimate. I don't remember that, but cool. We came to, oh yes, the ancient tomb. So, <clears throat> yeah. Grindstones, that's a good one too. In fact, I don't think I'm going to talk. And Oh, Shukaku, look at that. I know that's reserve list. Going through it and valuing it and seeing what we got. We got an island now. Okay, this was another card that I had seen originally. This is nothing now. It's that's an example of cards that can't take reprints. Maybe if there's more meat and not so many lands, I would have given him more. But, again, too many lands and... I mean, it's great and all. Especially if some of that is alt fourth, which I will check.
They got a dark ritual of every flavor here. Isn't the Hermit Druid uh, reserve list? I think he is. Okay, and this pile needs separating out as well. I'm going to put these with alliances, visions should go with mirage. Gemstone Mines and the Wasteland and School of Mages. All right, divided. Hello, everyone. Now it's time for the review. This stack is like $25 to $1 buy list cards, meaning, you know, ugh, this one I put aside. Look at this damage up here in the corner. This is a $9 card. Freaking annoying. Yeah, so all this is a couple of bucks each, you know, well, total. So it's about 50 bucks, I guess. Uh, let's call it 30 bucks in value because it's there. Um, next, let's go over, we have some more, um, recent foils here, and you can tell they're a little more curved, uh, oh, look at that, two of the same one, they're a little more curved than, than the older foils that I have as well, so yeah, these I didn't pull out, I, I went around, I went around, I went through the cards and pulled out the ones that had a, a dollar or more value in buy list. So these, you know, they probably have a buck, eh, less, I don't know. They're decent, they're cool. They're older foils from the time when foils were actually rare. So yeah, look at how awesome that looks too. Like foils looked great back then. Okay. So, we have this pile here of lands, foil lands, and, you know, they range in price from $5, to maybe even 8 9 bucks down to like a dollar or two. So, I'm going to call the average $3 each for these. Let's see, one, two, three, four. There's a lot. And they're in great shape. So, yeah, these are the older borders. Hey, 50. Perfect. So, yeah, we'll call them two or three bucks each. All right, these are the valuable foils along with these. These are the valuable cards. These were the extra 
old border foils. I am totally um, going to use this and probably going to start a few different foil sets because we have it here. You know, like, this is quite the collection of foils, guys. They're all light play or better. I, I don't see anything uh, that horrible here. Like, the, there's no uh, fogging, which is major. You know, mostly uh, fogging is what happens when people touch it, and uh, you get minor surface abrasions over the years. Well, this is pretty clean. The condition isn't there. Like, if you look at the back, you'll see nicks and whatnot. Uh, I mean, some of them might be gradable, but they're all common, so I don't know. I don't think I will. Look at that. Even a legacy um, foil. Freaking first foils right here. This is Tragic Poet. Italian? I put the 8th and 9th edition here because 8th and 9th edition have the same um, effect as 7th where the whole set is white border except for the foils. Okay. So... Um, yeah, let's put these on top again. Now, let's go through the hits first. Hold on, I gotta click on my computer. There you go. You can see the damage here, right? Some cards, though, like these grindstones are in good condition. A couple of gemstones mine, gemstone mines and foreign gemstone mines. So, the uncommons, they were a lot better than I thought. And I uh, I didn't go through them enough to really see some of this stuff. So, yeah, this is a lot better than I thought. Like, I saw the aura shards. I'm like, oh, there's some value. You know, you got reserve list. Not like it's a valuable reserve list card. I saw the medallion and the tutor originally. And this tutor, too. This was a nice surprise. This was a great surprise. A wasteland. I know it's, um, hmm... Maybe Italian. We, oh, this. That's from the other purchase. So we don't count that. We got the strip mine. We got this goat. And then we got... Uh, not the goat. Sorry. Sheep. And then we got um, all the other stuff I looked through and pulled out. A couple of dollar cards. Look at this. These are like $3 each in buy list. But there's a ton of them. Eight bucks, you know. So, yeah. There's some cool things in here. Denizen of the Deep. This freaking card was so much more valuable before the reprint. It's an eight dollar card out of nowhere, you know. Dwarven might look, look at this. Look at this, bro. He's just like, "Hey, what's up? How you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> but the real surprise are these foils. So when I originally got it, I like pulled out a couple of foils, couple and couple, and like went through it really fast, you know. So yeah, when I saw some of these foils, I was greatly surprised. All right, like especially the seventh edition, Deadly Insect, Port Inspector, Rush of Knowledge. Some of these are you know decent, others are just a buck or two. But these are the above one dollar. Um, what's it called? The above the one dollar uh, buy list price. Check it out. I think this is Urza and Mishra in that art. They danced like puppets to a tune only Yogmoth could hear. Here you go. Phyrexian Rager. You can go to the Ridgeline Rager or the Phyrexian Rager. I don't know. There's a couple of parties tonight, guys. <laughs> Ophidian Eye. The Rhymebound Dead. Look at him. Fragmite. Couple of beans. You know, a couple of beans. Hey, I got two of these Racto signets. And then, here, I didn't take them out of their sleeves yet. I will. I'll put them into my sleeves. Seventh edition foils. Lovely. Look at that guy. Mm-hmm. Very awesome. And the friggin' twiddle. Very nice. 
So yeah, this was a interesting collection. I'm glad I got it. Um, this is from the other collection. So yeah, I will try to keep those prices separate. Um, let me know how I did. I think I did good. Remember, this was $230. This was 15 basically. So yeah, not so bad. Um, yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, ooh, damage there. Look at that. Boom. That looks like binder damage. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, if you're going to buy any cards today, remember to use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description. I also now have an eBay affiliate link in the description. You click on them and shop like normal. It helps out a lot. Thank you very much to all those people who do. Um, you can copy and paste those links and put them in your browser, save it, and uh, yeah, that's a, it, can, it can work like that. Um, check out my Patreon, channel memberships. We have super thanks. Otherwise, guys, remember to have a lovely day. Take care. Peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that? And this is for the wife. And more cock for her. There you go. There you go. Yes. Triple cock, Nishan. Mm-hmm.